Another valuable utility in Excel is the ability to produce graphics very quickly. So for instance, this information is summarized so that in the vertical columns we have the labels for the location a sample was taken, and in the next column next to it, we have the mold spore count per cubic meter of air. So these are the two outdoor levels, these are some of the indoor levels, and these are some other indoor levels. Now, if I want to present this data graphically, uh, I might be considering to produce a bar chart that shows me the height of a bar that represents various areas, so I can see if the indoor levels compared favorably to the outdoor levels. Well, in fact, if you lay it out very carefully, and there are some tricks to this, so I don't expect you to, if you haven't worked with Excel, to be able to do this right away, but we'll be working on this as time goes forward. Okay, if I highlight these two columns, including the titles at the top, and if I go into charts on the ribbons up here, and I go into column, and I ask it to produce a clustered column for me, it automatically, Excel automatically produces a mold spore count chart for me with a legend and with a title as well. I can actually get rid of that and maybe spread it out a little bit more. So now it's very easy to see for me to see the relationship between the level of mold spores outdoors and indoors in these various locations. So it's a very powerful feature of Excel to be able to produce these types of charts and graphs and to organize data into tables. Of course, we're also going to have another piece of software, SPSS, which is also very good at doing these kinds of things.